Let's get to it. All right, YouTube, what is going on? It's Mesa, back at it with some Destiny. So, all right, guys, we're going to talk about lights and kind of like the science behind the whole loot system and uh, what my, my boy Expat, yeah, he, he's been known for bringing me out of a funk, okay? In previous raids, back when we were doing a vault of glass real early on, and also yesterday when I was just bugging out, like, damn, everyone has much higher light than me. What the fuck is my problem? I can't get past 250. No, I think it was like 240 something, 250. But yesterday, I went from like 250 all the way up to like 268. And that's not including what I bought from Zer today, which I haven't decrypted. I'm actually recording this prior to decrypting those um, helmet engrams. Now, with what I'm gonna talk about here is, um, it involves a Cryptarch, of course, okay? And it involves the fact that what you have equipped, okay, he's gonna give you, or is supposed to give you, gear, and well, it's supposed to take into consideration what you have and what you don't have, okay? And if you got the best stuff on, and that means rares, guys, okay? Stupid me, you know, I had all legendaries yesterday, I said, oh, this is great, I'm gonna get into the raid Friday night, uh-uh, okay? I get, <laughs> because of wearing things, certain things, I will get rares that actually have a higher light level than my legendaries, I can go ahead and infuse them and all, but you gotta basically trick the Cryptarch into giving you higher defense, okay? Because remember, your light is your defense and your attack all combined, that equals your light level. Now, it worked amazing for me yesterday because uh, Expat was like, you know what, you know what, Mike, we need to go to the Court of Oryx. So, lawyer up and head on over to the Court of Oryx, okay? Because I've been farming for those Hadium Flakes and chests out in the Hull Breach, and I had a boatload of runes and even stolen runes so I can kick off the Tier 2 uh, Court of Oryx public events. So, I'd go to the Court of Oryx with a fire team, and then uh, the longer you stay there, other people start showing up. That's when you want to start kicking off the Tier 2 ones, because six of you can then take that uh, take that public event on. So, we spent not even maybe 20 minutes here, okay? And I got a boatload of engrams, I got rep, I got, look at all these engrams all over, I can't carry them all. And I got even a, a legendary engram. Because, like, last night, we went over to the uh, weekly heroic strikes, and yes, you get marks, and you get gear and everything, but holy fuckaroni were they hard, okay? Especially when you're lower light level. By the way, people on Twitter, stop bragging about your light level. It's like someone bragging that they went to Vegas and won a fucking uh, 100 grand and playing craps. Now, <laughs> in a nutshell, okay, whatever you have equipped, okay, you want to put on your best of the best, okay? And which means whatever you decrypt from uh, Raul here, he's supposedly going to give you something better. So, what I recommend, and this is what I was doing, was when I decrypt engrams, okay, and I got a shitload to cash, why am I cursing so much in this video? I'm sorry, I just woke up. When I decrypt engrams, okay, I go in, I, I decrypt it very slowly. I decrypt one, I check its stats. I decrypt one, I check its stats. If it's a higher stat, I immediately equip it so it raises my light level. And you need to do that in everything you do in this game, okay? If you're out doing strikes, if you're out doing patrol, and you pick up a blue engram, let's say, uh, a blue piece of gear, and has higher light than whatever, uh, it, let's say, even if it's legendary, okay? You want to equip it, because then all future engrams, anything that drops or anything, should be, based on the RNG loot system, be higher. And I, I have to give a kudos again to Expat for playing with me all last night. He's the one that schooled me on all this thing and brought it to my attention, because I'm not the sharpest pencil in the box. And in a nutshell, you know, I don't like, well, okay, I love doing strikes, but they take a long time, okay? And just to get those drops at the end, yeah, you get some engrams on the way, but the Court of Oryx is way faster, and it's fucking fun. Why am I cursing again? I'm sorry, guys. Bad mouth today. Uh, it's a lot of, I love the Court of Oryx. I mean, I have so I loved it at Bungie, and I love it now. It's just so much fun, especially when you bump into another fire team, and then you start laying into the Tier 2 ones. So much freaking fun. So, just to recap, guys, okay, um, you want to farm for runes, okay, and the way you do that is watch my video, there we go, clickbait spam, watch my video on how I farm for Hadium Flakes, okay, uh, I got a bunch of runes from there, and also Engrams. Then what you want to do is go to the Court of Oryx, and if you can, get a fire team together, if they've got some runes too, and then you could kick off some Tier 1s, or even Tier 2s, but uh, if you run into another fire team, and they got 6 of you, then you kick off the Tier 2s, you get better rewards, and I believe, I'm not 100% sure, if you're the one that puts in the rune, you get the better drops. Because I notice a lot of times, what if I wasn't the one that didn't put the rune, if I was the one that didn't put the rune in, I didn't really get drops or anything good. And for the curious, uh, you can see I got my Boolean Gemini on me. That's the 347 Vesta Dynasty. Uh, I'll annotate that video on your screen now. Um, it was a long quest, but I was able to get it, and I absolutely love the damn thing. So that's it, guys. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mason. Check out my stream. Links in the description. That's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir. I need to get some sleep. I need to tone down the foul language. I'm sorry. Bye, guys.